CVS manager in Atlanta by day. Real estate aficionado by night. Aficionado. I don't even know. Honest, I don't. Even, I don't even. I don't think. I don't think you'd be an aficionado. I think you'd be a real estate investor. I, rewind. Real estate investor by night. That's what I should have said, folks. That's what I should have said, right? That's what the show's about today. The show is about one of my clients works at a CVS, manages that thing, living in Atlanta. Needs help getting started in real estate. So if any of that kind of stuff resonates with you, if you are also in Atlanta considering real estate investment, you're probably going to want to watch the show. If you work at CVS, you're probably going to want to watch the show. Hell, no joke, just between me and you, I bet if you work at Walgreens, you might want to watch the show too. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I help people like you. Everyday people invest in real estate. Today, my guy, Kirk. Manager at a CVS, but as I said, it'll probably be applicable if you are a manager at Walgreens, folks. If you are at the Walgreens, dude, straight up, Kirk, I'm sorry. I got I to gotta talk about this. This has nothing to do with Kirk. I have not been to Kirk's uh, CVS, and uh, to my understanding, Kirk is not a pharmacist, but what in the hell is with pharmacists, man? Pharmacists, it's like... They do it on purpose, right? You walk up in the line, and they just stand there on that one computer, and they just, like, they look at you, and then they go back to the computer, and they just, like, ignore the fuck out of you for, like, 20 minutes straight. Like, dude, I was uh, in line at a, I think it was a CVS. Yeah, it was a CVS. I was in line at a CVS, and I was getting, like, another COVID, like, a booster. I, I don't know what number we're on. It was, like, booster number 47 at this point. I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I'm getting it. I'm the only some bitch in the whole fucking store. And I'm standing there staring at, like, four pharmacists and, like, three pharmacy technicians. And they're all just, like, standing there, like, a good half hour. Dude, I think they do it on purpose. I really do. I really think pharmacists do it on purpose. I feel like they've been doing that for years. Never do you go anywhere. And, like, the person at the counter just stares at you like you're an asshole for, like, a half hour straight, even when there's, like, no other people in the store, right? I feel like that has happened to me at, like, every pharmacy I've gone through. Kirk, I'm so sorry that I used your video to attack your colleagues violently. I'm sorry. But I just I, – somebody needed to say it, bro. Somebody needed to get that out. Somebody needed to get that out there, Okay. But that's not what the show's about. The show's about my guy Kirk investing in real estate at night when he's not ignoring motherfuckers in line at his pharmacy. <laughs> Sorry, Kirk. I was just kidding. Now, here's the deal. The reason I, I like working with people like Kirk, people like maybe everybody else out there was watching, regular everyday guy has a regular job, right? Uh, you could make a lot of money investing in real estate working a regular job, okay? But here's the thing. You're in Atlanta, and here's a little plot twist for everybody. This video, we're not going to find you a property in Atlanta. What? Yeah, no. This whole time, we're not even going to find them a deal in Atlanta, folks. We're going north. We're going to Ohio. Because, not that Atlanta's a bad market, not that Atlanta's the most expensive market. It's not like we're talking L.A. or anything, but it's 2022, dude, post-COVID world. Like I said, I'm already on, like, jab number, like, 47, right? In the post-COVID world, things are expensive, there's shortages in housing, right? You remember all the shutdowns? Well, guess what? All the lumber prices? Yeah, people stopped building houses, and then, like, there became a shortage of existing houses because you still have a bunch of people trying to buy houses. They're not making new houses. So, like, stuff got squeezed. Right now we're dealing with really high prices, folks. That's everywhere in the world, or at least everywhere in America. And Kirk is having an issue. He can't get his business started with the amount of money he has working a regular person job, not a super multimillionaire or anything like that. And he's not able to find deals that are hitting his cash flow goals for his budget in Atlanta. So he hooked up with me because I go where the deals are. Where the deals are is where we invest, not where you live. It's where the deals are. And Kirk, I got a deal that I think you're going to dig, and I'm going to go to bat for you, and I'm going to get that seller to take 25 k off the price because you're my guy. 
And I know if I went to your pharmacy, you would be like, oh, hey, James, what's up? I'll be with you in a minute. Because that's what every other fucking customer service person does. I'm so sick of pharmacists. All right. Let me calm down. We'll get into the numbers on the deal. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now. This deal, I like this deal, ish, right? I like some things about this deal, I dislike some other things, right? As far as the property goes, it's beautiful, very nice house. Uh, it, it's it's like a very well done reno, right? All right, I dig it, okay? Look at this, nice tiled shower, that's badass. One of the nicer kitchens you're gonna see in one of these rental neighborhoods, right? It's very, very nice, right? And you want to make your rentals as nice as possible, honestly. A, you get higher rent, but that's not even really the big thing. The big thing is you get tenants that stay there longer. And you want to reduce turnovers as much as you can. And having a badass bathroom like this, I mean, that, that's going to keep people in your units, right? Nice kitchen. If you do, like, just the minimum, people are going to live there long. And, oh, you know, I kind of like that. I like how they did that towel bar. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice wide towel bar like that. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've actually seen anybody do something like that. Honestly, that looks like a shower curtain, like a shower rod, like a towel rod that goes in your bathroom, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I've never seen somebody do that, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but I do dig it. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's got like an industrial feel. But anyway, here's the units. They look nice, right? And also down here, what you see, something that really matters, uh, like big time, long term, looks like you got all brand new mechanicals. New furnace, two new hot water tanks. Looks like the other furnace, super shiny. Everything should be new. That's a lot of money down there, right? Furnace is about three, three, thirty-five hundred, right? So you're looking at you know about seven G's. Hot water tanks, you can tack on another thousand, fifteen hundred ish, twelve hundred ish, right? It's COVID, it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes up, then it goes up, all right? Supply pricing is a little jacked, right? In America, I'm sure uh, my investors out there who are actually already in the business know this. Uh, but anyway, you got about ten thousand dollars worth of brand new mechanicals down there, right? Uh, those furnaces are going to last thirty years. Hot water tanks are going to last about fifteen. So that's big, right? So I like that, and I love the fact that they did the unit very, very nice. Both units are very, very nice. As far as the neighborhood, it's like a high C, low B grade area, Maple Heights, nice suburb in the Cleveland area. Fifty-one seventy-five Miller Ave is the address. Okay, I like all that. Love the property. Love the mechanicals. Love what they did on the inside. It's going to keep butts in your units for a very long time. And they're getting close to market rents, right? Uh, one unit's paying eight, the other's paying eight fifty. But market rent for units this nice, you're looking at eight seventy five a pop, right? So seventeen fifty, twenty one for the year. After running your typical fixed and variable expense estimates, having my team manage everything for you, so it's one hundred percent passive for my out of state folks. Uh, you're looking at uh, NOI just under nine grand a year now. All that's good, all that's great, nice deal. This is what gets to me the thing that I don't like about this deal. I don't like the price, dude. 150K, yeah, it's cool, it's nice, it's good. It's not 150K good, man, no. It's too much of a premium, sellers ask it too much. I think the deal will be a great deal, will make a lot of sense if you could pick it up at 125. At 125, you put down 31 and a quarter, bank kicks in 93 and three quarters, should pencil out to about a 13 and a half percent cash on cash return. Nice, stable investment. Don't have to spend a lot of money on CapEx in the future, in the near future, rather. So, honestly, that cash and cash return might, you probably will exceed that. Because if you look back to the chart, folks, I got 1050 That's actual money that goes in your pocket. But I got you saving that for CapEx. But it doesn't look like you're going to have any CapEx anytime soon. So, the deal, super good. But I do believe it's overpriced at 150 So, I think if we could uh, get in there, try to beat the sellers up a little bit, get it down to 125. This one is a banger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.